Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to BMNG Drive, this time for the start of a new series, which you've already seen by the title and thumbnail. I'm calling this series Open Challenge because it's all open wheeled cars. And in a variety of tracks and things I've got planned in the uh, the future, none of these cars can be suited whatsoever. Because as you can see here, the first car I take on this this uh, this track is a 60s. It's maybe like a 60s F1 car. It's the Automobili TS67. And the idea for this, well, the aim for this challenge is to, is to survive one lap of this track. And I'm gonna take this first lap slowly, just so uh, you can see the track. So this car has no uh, no like engine sound in that. So some of them do, some of them don't. And it will also include automation cars along the way. As you can see, yeah, it had the the first jump. Of course, will go over, over the jumps, just not so it have to crash. Oh, as I say, as I don't crash, I immediately uh, go and crash. Well, um, yeah, I think that just shows how uh, how difficult this is going to be if trying to avoid things like crashing to them. Anyway, once you get past them, you have this uh, like chicane of containers and that. And there's, there's a split way here, and I found that this way is the best way to go. That is, if the car would actually go over it. See, if we, I'm having more issues going at slow speeds than going at high speeds. I have tested this with some cars that I won't be using. this, like normal like, rally cars and that. And they got completely destroyed, of course, as you expect, around the track like this. Now then. This is where we come up to the the, the, uh, the high speed section, and hopefully we uh, we get in better than that. Now coming up here, there is a jump here at the top, and some cars can go over the top of it, like this one just did. Then, but some of them I will have to break and go around it. Just depends on how I feel about the car. Like if it's a really weak car, like I've got some F1 cars that have to go, they'll just fly off the end. So yeah, I'll be going slightly around with them. But as we've just seen with this thing. This thing can make it around fine, so uh, I'll probably take the jump then, but again, again, I'll be going faster on the actual race run. And with all the cars I'm going, I've got about 20 or so off the top of my head. The set engine is going to be, it's basically, it's a time trial thing. And, uh, well, inevitably there's going to be a lot of crashes, a lot of resets, and a lot of cars that don't get it done on the first run. Now this jump here, this one, you need a lot of speed up there, coming up to about, what, that's 70 mile an hour over the jump and that, so yeah. You're going to need a lot of speed coming up to that one. And coming over here, this is this is the uh, the final jump of the course, and the car's got no steering whatsoever. And this thing it does understeer quite a bit. This car, and then it's going to be flat out now, and then it's going to be across the line there, which is going to be the shadow, and that's a lot of bouncing. And that's a, that's this is pretty much how the runs are going to finish, going uh going like that. So uh, yeah, let's just reset this car and get it back around to the start, and I'll put. I'm, depending on how the runs go, like if I, I'm planning on doing three cars per video, or if there's 20 cars, it'll be four in the end one, or something like, something like that anyway. But uh, if all of these cars nail the first run, then of course I do, I'll do a few more in them. So it's going to be lining up, and I'm going to do it where the front wheels are just just like that, just before the, uh, the shadow. And of course they're all not going to be exactly in the same place every time, from video to video, but Run truck like this, I don't think that really matters all too much. So then, first run, let's see how we can actually go now, going at a uh, racing speed, I guess you could say. It is a time trial, so I guess it is a kind of a race. Also, you might hear my controller quite a bit as well. That's a lot of air time, that's a lot of air That's That's not going well. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that hasn't worked. And also, if a car gets stuck upside down, I will reset it, but if it drives fine, then... I'll, uh, I'll keep it going. Oh, no, I'm not enough speed now, am I? To get over the jump. And of course, it doesn't get over a jump as well. And oh, now we're upside down. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a reset. And that's uh, the first of many, many failed attempts throughout this series, I'm pretty sure. So I've, got, I've got other tracks in mind for other challenges as well. So, if you've got anything else in mind as well, then comment it down below. If you have any ideas? I'm interested to see what you guys can uh, come up with for future videos as well. I'm coming over the jump. How fast are you for going over here? Okay, braking in midair. Of course, this isn't like GTA where you can control the cars in midair. And that's a looping round, but um, it's still going though, that's the main thing. And coming up to this part now, we're going to turn. Go, you have to go around this part. Because I must say, I'm using this track backwards to how it should be going. Which is why that jumps there in that position like that. Because it should be going the other way around. And I had a test run 
test run of it going the other way around, just like this car's going the other way around. And uh, going this way now, the way we, well, the way that I'm going now, I found to be just much better. With the car launching off that jump, that would just kill everything. Um, I'm going to go for the jump on this time. Is that enough speed? Is that enough speed? That is just enough speed. That's actually perfect. But it wasn't fast, but it was quicker than going round it. And oh no. Oh, that's broken the rear wheels. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I guess stuck upside down. Otherwise, that's going to be another reset, which is a reset. I'm. I, they're not going to count on add on extra time or anything. It's just the, the penalty itself entry result, because that was a f pretty good run I was feeling, although I'd just been around a few times. Uh, Coming over the first jump this time. Can we actually get over it? Yes, we do. That was nice and controlled. And oh, that's not. Um, We've not made the corner. I mean, no run's going to be absolutely flawless. So, although I think this run, as of right now, at this point, is quicker than what we had last time, as you can see, this thing is having issues because, like I said, it's an, it's an 60s. Yes, 60s F1 car. It's not meant to be doing this kind of terrain and where they're getting either cars. Although there is a few rally cars or rally spec cars to be going. I mean, they'll have the advantage on this kind of track, but when it comes to some like more open circuits later on, they're going to be losing out in terms of the uh, lack of straight line speed that they have. I'm coming over the jump this time. Can you, can you get it? That's a lot of air time. That's an awkward landing. That's a lot of to keep it on the wheels. Yes, we do. So the run can continue. And then, oh, that's an awkward bump. Alright then, coming up to this next car. This is the first I've got with this car so far. That's, oh, that's a spin. That's, uh, well then, that's, don't be stuck. Of course, yeah, I'm, like I said, I can't turn the cars back over, so if they get stuck, that is also going to be a, uh, a reset. So, it should be plain sailing to the finish, although we have still got one more jump to go, and that's really wide. The other thing, it, it's really awkward handling. Like, it gets it's understeering to start with, I guess, back from a 60s F1 car. I mean, it just gets like snap over steer, and the uh, terrain that we're on isn't exactly uh, helping matters either. Oh, that's a wiggle over the jump. I don't think I'm going fast enough. Oh, just, just about, but uh, that was a completely wrong angle. So I just lost a load more time there, but then again, this, this could end up being the fastest run still, you never know. So all the cars are gone, and now then over the uh, the final jump, that's, uh, it was pretty, uh, it was okay, it was controlled. And then, oh, the, uh, the windscreens fell off. And now then over the line, upside down, and that's uh, the first run of this uh, series completed. And the car is doing th uh, mystical awkward things. That's, um, I, I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, also, uh, there's another thing else I should mention. If things fall off the cars, like the windscreen, that doesn't matter. Things can fall as much as they like, because, well, it falling off is just going to be damaging the car more than anything, so... Well, make it a bit lighter though, so you might get a bit of weight reduction. So now then, what am I going to choose for the second car? I feel like I feel like we should go for something completely the opposite. I mean, as opposite as you can, because they're all open wheeled cars. I feel like you know what? I'm gonna go for one of the bolides, the one of the uh, bolide carts. All right, then which one? I mean, there's an off-road go kart. Yeah. Let's go for the off-road one, and the, uh, the regular go-kart, oh, and these other, tr like, the, the track toy things and that, they'll all get a run as well at some point. It's just, cars that'll come under the same, completely different to this thing, but they're still technically bowlides, so, yeah, I'm going to keep them for this in separate videos. Now, this thing needs to go back a little bit, reset it to there. Right then, first run for the, uh, the bowline, let's see how this, oh, that's very slidey. This thing is also very boxy as well, so... This thing is going to be a lot heavier, not unsurprisingly. But it could have, like, fold in half over the jumps. And, okay, this thing is handling a lot differently to what the other thing just did. I have enough speed to get over the jump. No, no, that hasn't worked. And <laughs> now I'm stuck. Great. Well, first run, as ever, didn't work. Let's try it again, and probably again afterwards. Well, this is my first time driving driving uh, any of these cars that are going to be in the video anyway in, in, in this series driving them on this terrain so I've got to get used to the cars like as I go of course I'm also doing this as you can hear on a controller so just to make it even more random because you can play beam on a wheel but you can play anything on a wheel honestly you can probably play Wii Sports on a wheel or there'd be wheel sports and oh no that's a roll how why did that roll then and I'm going to say upside down if I've rolled over I'd have carried on um, run three. 
I didn't count how many attempts. Wait, the flames are coming out the wrong place on this car as well. They weren't coming out the exhaust then. No, they're not. They're not coming out the exhaust, so that's um, interesting. But anyway, can we get over the jump this time? Try about 60, 70 mile an hour. Oh, right, yeah, we get it good that time. And heavy on the brakes because on a controller, I mean, you can like modulate the brakes, but I just go full speed on, on the brakes. Oh, thanks, lag. Thank, thanks for that. That shouldn't really affect the time too much, though. But that is something I didn't actually think about taking into account lag spikes. I mean, that's just going to be adding to the randomness, so that's going to slow down this run a little bit more. I mean, that's the game deciding that this run should be a little bit slower, not me, so. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Now, because this car's heavy, it can carry a lot of speed. But I don't want to carry too much speed up here. And then go for the jump on this one as well. Can we get over? Yes, just about once again. That was literally, I think, even more perfect. We're just getting the, uh, the run out of speed up there. I didn't look at how fast the wheels were going, so... Oh no, oh no, that hasn't worked. Okay, let's just, let's just get things turned around. That could have been a lot worse than what it was. The, the jumps are definitely, uh, well, I mean, they cause issues, I mean, they're going to cause issues for everything. Everything wants to snap around again. I mean, the wheels are surprisingly thin on this thing. I know on the other carts, the other carts faster in terms of track and speed as well, so this car will have the advantage, I imagine, over the other one on this kind of track. Oh, valve train damage, that's great. I don't think that really matters. I mean, if the valve train is the thing that gets damaged, I don't really, that's probably the least of the issues. Right, I've got to plant the power down now, go over the jump, can you go over the jump just? I mean, it's probably not as close to hitting the other side of the jump as what it looks like. Just from this camera angle, it looks like it's about to plough into it. And right there now, the final jump, that's a bit of a wiggle, that's a wiggle, that is a, that's a rock, that's not gone well. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, can you land, just land the, uh, exhaust damage, I don't care about the exhaust. Just land the right way up. Right, there we go. Can it still move? Um, no, it, it <laughs> got this far around, and it's going to have to go again. The wheel's going to take mile an hour. Well, that wheel's going to take mile an hour. The other one isn't. But yeah, that's not. That's going way too slowly. So, so that's the penalty you take. They're not going to add any penalty time on. But uh, that was such a good run as well. So that final jump just screwed it up, and like I said, there's going to be many, many failed attempts and many broken cars throughout this series. And then first jump once again. I mean, oh no. That's gone. That's not worked. That's a tree. That's, um... I'm getting worse. <laughs> Try it again. You just about getting the right angle. I mean, if the valve train gets, like, if I can get damaged again since I'm... It's, since it's... I don't know why they've had damage. I mean, yeah, the car's revving a lot, as you would expect on a train like this, with me driving in very, very badly. I get over the, uh, the first jump, there's a little bit of a wiggle, get on the brakes. And if you miss the corner like this, then of course I'll go back and do it. So, of course, you don't get any corner cutting. I mean, if it bounces around over it, then, oh. That's not gone well. That, that wheel, no, that wheel didn't do anything. Uh, okay, this thing's just become a three-wheel car now. It's actually handling better. Uh, well, cornering's not better, but in terms of going in a straight line, it definitely does have better. And if the car can continue at a good enough speed like this, then this will, if this makes it round, like this, this will be the run that counts. And I tell you, you pay the penalty for rolling over on the last run. Oh, there's, there, there's literally no steering in this thing. Well, no controllable steering anyway. And it's still, yeah, it still steers, but bouncing around like this, it's not doing any favours. And okay, I'm not feeling that's going to go over that. So, yeah, at this point, I'm actually with a few guys. I'll just bail out and go round the jump instead. Of another reason I do it this way, so things will actually survive. And the wheels stood back up. On the uh, valve train's been damaged earlier on. I imagine that's having to uh, rev more to uh, accommodate for a wheel that's not doing anything. And it's also going a lot slower. So I mean, and I've got the wheel speed graphic up. I should probably have the air speed graphic up, if I'm honest, because then it will actually tell me how f how fast the car's actually going, and not how fast the wheels are rotating. This off when you crash last time, it was going 30 mile an hour, or something like that, because that one wheel that was spinning at 30 mile an hour was going about two, maybe even one mile an hour, maybe not even a mile an hour, because it was going that slowly. All right then. 
Can we have enough speed to get over this jump? Do we have enough angle to get over this jump? Just... Oh, no. Oh, come on. I mean, we had enough speed, but... I suppose I got that far around, honestly, with that wheel like that. And that's going to be a spin at the start as well. And, okay, I've missed the corner there a little bit, but uh, I'm not going back for that. I mean, I always had no corner cuts, but little things like that. If I miss a significant piece of the track, then, yeah, I'll go back and do it again. And this has been a really, really bad start to this run. But we made it over the first jump, though. I mean, slower, going slower will preserve the car, yeah. And then again, going slower, it's going to be a slower time. And even if, if it's all well and good, actually, yeah. Uh, surviving the run, which is what the car needs to do, but if it just tips over around, then it's not going to score very highly against everything else as well. And since we have automation cars and things to go later on as well, then it could end up being bumped down the order. I, I'm going to say now, I'm expecting that an automation car will end up winning overall. So, honestly, for the bow line than that, I mean, it could end up winning overall, but what I'm thinking to be most likely is going to be an automation winner, then a beam and G car winner, that's a wiggle. So going to have to go around the jumps, it just cost even more time. Because the car being in perfect condition so far, like it is now, or near enough perfect condition, it's probably down to that, because even this being an off-road car, it's definitely, you know, I don't think any car is made for some kind of train like this. And that's a wiggle once again. Can you try and drift around the corner? Uh, if the corner was a bit sooner, then yeah, that would have worked. Either way, though, it's still going perfectly fine. But no, let's go remember the uh, final jump. I mean, yeah, I'd have to, I'd to keep it centrally with the jump, but then again, the road's at an angle. So you try to keep it straight, but then again, you can't really keep it straight either, if that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense in my head, but in reality, it probably makes no sense at all. Right, let's go around again. I need to get a bit of a run up, because it just cleared it last time. And put the power down and keep going in the right direction. That's the main thing. There we go. That should be okay. And yeah, it is just, just about gets over there. And then there goes the valve train. I mean, this has been a much more careful run, and that's that's going around again. But this is oh, I was about to say this is going to get around perfectly fine because not going to speed jump by crashing to the pole. I don't think that's done any damage though. But now then, over... Is this the final jump? Yeah, that's the final jump. Made it perfectly fine over that. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of sliding as well. This has by no means been a quick run. And it's going to spin out again. I mean, if it it's going to cross the line on this run. This is going to be the run that counts as well. And it's going to put the power down now. Now then, over the line, and uh, that's probably going to be one of the slower times I'm expecting. The only damage really is that dent on the front for when I crashed into the wall. So then, the uh, final car. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be an automation car for this one. And where... If you've seen any of my Race Mania videos, you'll have seen which car it's going to be. But you've seen the car before. But, uh... Let's just go for the regular hill climb one. I mean, all of these... These can all go at some point as well, so... A lot of automation cars. I have to just wait for the car to load in. There we go. Right, let's move this thing back a little bit. Because this thing's going to be fast. And this thing punctures are its Achilles heel. And being an automation car, it's going to be very, very strong. Might clear this first run. And that's a. It's actually pretty good controllable. Um, ow, oh, that's up a tree. <laughs> that's gone. Oh. I was upside down, so okay, run doesn't count. As I was saying, this thing has pretty good handling. I mean, it, I mean, it, it does, so. Yeah, it's, probably the, it's the best handling car to take around the track so far. It's probably the best suited car. I mean, it's a hill climb car, not exactly an off road car, but it's under the same category as the other sandstorm, so I imagine it can't be too bad, but the brakes are pretty bad, though. Yes, it is. It's four-wheel drive. I think it's the first four-wheel drive car, yeah. Because rear-wheel drive is banned in Formula 1. And I think the buggy was also just rear-wheel drive, the, uh, the bow line from last time. This thing, I'm expecting it to be the quickest run so far, barring if it doesn't do what the bow line did last run. Oh, the f it's eating its front wing. That could be problematic. 
in the front wing it does detach, but it doesn't, de well, right, does that count as detached? I think it just counts as falling under. This thing, I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna go for the, uh, the jump on this one. Right then, that should be fast enough, yeah it's easily fast enough, that's a bit too fast actually, but you can take it though. Now then, just going through the second half of the lap, that's a bump, that's on, okay, on the brake, I don't want to flip over. Okay, on the wheels, okay, that's fine, run continues. If I land on the wheels, I can keep going. And this is why I think an automation car's got a winner overall. Because it, it rolled over, it's eating its front wing, and it's just carrying on perfectly fine, like nothing's troubling it. I mean, I can feel it a little bit scraping along the, the, uh, the ground. So it's adding a bit of understeer to the car because well, there's less contact patch from the wheels to the ground. And if you ignore the fact that the other front wing is actually going through the wheels, and then over the jump, yeah, perfect. I mean, I say perfect. It's probably the best of the, uh, the cars that have gone today. And then the floor now, full commitment over this final jump. And yes, that's worked out fine as well. This, uh, this car's so grippy, and that was almost just flipping over. Now then, over the final jump, now over the line, it's made it. And that should be by far the, uh, the fastest lap time. And the only damage it suffered was, uh, yeah. Eating its front wing, the, the wheels and that still look perfectly level, so this should definitely, definitely be the fastest of these three cars. Out of the results of the first three cars, unsurprisingly the sandstorm does top the timing, but not by all too much actually, only five seconds in front of the automobile, so maybe the automation cars won't be all conquering, with the Burlide car quite a bit slower, almost a minute slower. In, in third of the three cars so far. So if you enjoyed this first episode, leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification box so you don't miss out on any future videos. So remember to give me a follow on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They'll be linked, linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.